we're not going to kill you. Or are we? <laughs> Adam Tyler, Kano, said it best about the trailer. You effing beauty. Uh, I hope this movie lives up to sudden out of nowhere hype and I'm excited and full of hope just waiting to watch it. You said it, Adam, you fucking beauty. <laughs> just so you know, Kano is not so uh, PG in the film. So if you have a problem with the word uh, fuck, you, you, may, you may have a problem with Kano. <laughs> he, he says it a bit. Baby fuck McGee Zacks. I dated a baby fuck McGee Zacks. I wonder if it's the same one. Baby fuck McGee Zacks says, oh sh this looks perfect. The original is my second favorite movie, Mortal Kombat. Baby fuck, what's your first favorite film? <laughs> Come on, hit me. Tyler Kenneth Hines says, I'm a huge Mortal Kombat fan and this looks great, but I'm missing my boy Cage. Yeah, well, how do you know he's not in it? How do you know that? What, because we didn't show him in the trailer? Because we didn't show him in the poster? We didn't show him in any marketing materials? Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Pandora Wolf. Are we entering into an age of proper video game series slash movies, question mark? I mean, if 2020 taught us anything, it's that uh, expect the unexpected. We may be into that age. Exit the COVID era, enter the good video game series movies era. Ain't no vaccine for that era. Terrence Donnell Small, open the theaters now. Yeah. Terrence, we were just waiting for the green light from you. That's that's the only reason they've been closed. Now that you're <laughs> happy with it, we're gonna open them all up. Dude, we want these things. It's, the, it's a movie you gotta watch on the big screen, trust me, but I, I, COVID. Pork Vader, Pork Vader. I have to just have a very good mental image of what Pork Vader looks like. Watch this at home and avoid a fatality. We're not gonna kill you if you don't watch it at home. If that's, don't, I know the Pork Vader's trying to let you know that you'll die, but you're not gonna die. But you watch it at home at the movies, yeah. But you know, we're not gonna kill you. Or are we? <laughs> Squizizix! I can't believe I pronounced that, what I assumed correctly the first time. Squizizix! So what happens when one of the actors forgets their fatality importance? Do they just jump in the air like I always did? Or... Yeah, I actually, well, that was me. <laughs> I could never get it right. Yeah, it'd be like just one punch in midair and then up, 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 and then nothing would happen. <laughs> That was totally my, I was, they were always too complicated. But actually, I got to say, there is, there is one joke that I can think of particularly where it's kind of a, it's kind of a reference to that sort of thing. So keep, keep an eye out for it because I, I find it pretty funny. Fong Fongy, imagine being born with a Mortal Kombat birthmark and you just grow up to be a mid-level graphic designer instead of learning martial arts. Yeah, wasted, wasted opportunity, wasted potential. You just sort of sit in an accounts receivable or in HR, you got this Mortal Kombat. Hey, uh, uh, hey Beverly, yeah? Uh, you gotta join us. For, <laughs> you gotta join us for uh, for some sushi later. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Poor Beverly. Poor Beverly. She could have kicked ass. But I guess we'll never know. Sven Tragrulic. Kano is the only character who is enjoying his superpower. Oh, Sven, you have no <laughs> idea. I go crazy for my laser eye in this film. Don't you worry about that. It never gets old for me. <laughs> Love it. Mr. Not So Hero says, imagine this film in the cinema. Oh Lord, please tell me cinema's open near me when this is released. Okay. Yeah, cinema's open near you when this is released. What else? What else can I do for you, Mr. Not So Hero? Yeah, imagine it in the cinema. Hopefully you don't have to imagine. You should go to a cinema and watch it. That's, it's that kind of film. Epic, gore, man, I would love like, do you ever done that uh, like 4D? You know 4D, you know, in the movies where the, where the chair moves and like you go through water and then someone spits in your face. And <laughs> like, you know, like there's like, f someone gets stabbed and like someone blows ketchup in your face. That's, that would be sick watching this film. Cryptic 2000, Scorpion, get over here. Sub-Zero, coughs, Scorpion, stay over there. Very good, very good, very good, topical. Hopefully not so, uh, hopefully after the vaccines that uh, that joke gets less funny, but for now, very funny. Zombie Eaters. As a nod to Trevor Goddard's performance as Kano in the first Mortal Kombat film, the character's nationality was changed from American to Australian, beginning with the cartoon in which he spoke with an Australian accent and continuing with Kano's redesign in MK versus DC. This is a great point, very accurate. And thanks to Trevor's performance, ultimately that was the first domino to fall that led to me playing. Because if, if that accent hadn't morphed to Australian, the odds of me playing the role drastically decrease. Satan Hatet, ooh, make it cinematic universe. Yeah, that'd be great. 
My accountant would love that. Dre 303. Are they going to do animalities and baby babalities? No spoilers. But that would be pretty awesome. <laughs> I, w I would. Maybe the sequel. Or maybe this one. Like I said, no spoilers. Rob Grizzly. Kano is one of the champions? Question mark. Prediction. He betrays them. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Yeah, I mean, Rob Grizzly. Again, I'm not going to give anything away. But you're not exactly uh, Nostradamus. But, you know, Kano's not known for his uh, trustworthiness, that's for sure. But um, the people change. Michael Ong. Classic Aussie. You beauty i gotta say uh that was an improv line that was an improv line i got the yeah there you go just so you know you beauty if you want even more ign comments then why not check out bob odenkirk or the animaniacs responding to your comments